Santa Claus and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there were three bears, a great big papa bear and a middle-sized mama bear, and a wee little baby bear. It was Christmas Eve, and they were busy decorating their house with holly and berries and icicles. Papa bear was bringing in a tree from the forest. Mama bear was preparing Christmas pudding. And baby bear was busy getting in the way. Even though he was a baby, he was still pretty big. Stockings were hung and the tree was decorated. When Mama Bear called everyone to dinner, she put the Christmas pudding in a great big bowl for Papa Bear. She put some in a middle-sized bowl for herself and she put some in a wee little bowl for Baby Bear. But when they sat down to eat, the pudding was too hot. Meanwhile, Santa had finished delivering presents to everyone in the Southern Hemisphere, and he had he was halfway through the northern part of the world when his sleigh landed on the roof of the three bears' house. All the three bears were on Santa's list for Christmas presents. Their house shook and rumbled as Santa Claus tumbled down the chimney. Santa stood up and brushed himself off. He looked around and saw the pudding on the table. After eating milk and cookies all night, the pudding looked tasty and warm. Christmas pudding, what a splendid idea. Santa exclaimed and took a spoonful from the great big bowl. This pudding is too hot, he said, and tasted the pudding in the middle sized bowl. This pudding is too cold. And then he sat down in Baby Bear's chair, and it was neither too hard or nor too soft, but just right. So then Santa bounced up and down a little bit just to get comfortable, and the chair broke, and Santa landed boom on the floor. Santa picked himself up and decided he needed a little nap before continuing on his way. He took his sack and went upstairs where he found three beds in a row. Santa Claus lay down on the bed of the Papa Bear and said, This bed is too high. And he got up and tried the bed of Mama Bear. Whoa, this bed is too low, he said as he rolled off on, onto the floor. Last of all, Santa Claus tried the wee little bed of the baby bear, and it was just right. So he snuggled under the covers and fell fast asleep. But this time, the three bears were returning home. Somebody had been eating my pudding, said Papa Bear in his great big voice. Someone had been eating my pudding, said Mama Bear in her middle-sized voice. Someone had been sitting in my chair, said Baby Bear in his wee little voice, and was broken into pieces. The three bears ran upstairs to see if they could find the mysterious visitor. Someone had been sleeping in my bed, said Papa Bear in his great big voice. Someone had been sleeping in my bed, said Mama Bear in her middle-sized voice. Someone is sleeping in my bed, said Baby Bear in his wee little voice. And who could it be? The three bears looked at the baby bear's bed. They saw lots of white hair, a red jacket covered with soot, and sticking out from the bottom of the blanket. Two black boots. It's Santa Claus, cried Baby Bear. Oh no! And ho, 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 said Santa Claus. Promise you won't tell anyone that you saw me? Please! Then Santa reached into his sack and pulled out a great big present for Baby Bear, a middle-sized present for Mama Bear, and a wee little present for Papa Bear. Baby Bear was very happy. Can I open it, he asked. Not until morning, said Mama Bear. Morning, said Santa. I better get going. The three bears felt the house rumble and shake as Santa went up the chimney and back to his sleigh. Sorry about the chairs, Santa called. I'll bring you a new one next year. And will that Santa shook the reins and the sleigh took off into the night.